This conference will now be recorded. So today uh, this session is all about for mobile automation with Appium and just a minute I will try to Perfect. So this session is all about for mobile automation with Appium and here uh, the agenda for this session is that uh, we will talk a bit about uh, first of all I will talk about me uh, who am I and then we will take these topics so we will talk about this mobile first approach and then we will talk about mobile automation and its advantages and then we will discuss a bit about the APM and, APM and its advantages and then I will go through the course curriculum I will talk about the prerequisites uh, I will talk about the details and then uh, we can briefly discuss what you can take at the end of this course so if you are doing this course what you can expect at the end of this course what you are what what this course is going to change or add in your skill set so that that we will see and then uh, next we will see the added advantages which are related to this uh, special uh, course and then i will take your questions and answers so let's get started So first of all, I will talk a bit about me. So who am I? I am Gaurav and I am having 13 years of experience in software testing and I am also working as a software trainer for mobile and web automation. And uh, in last uh, couple of years, I have trained more than 300 students. And these students are coming from versatile background and I have trained them for both mobile and uh, web-based testing. So that is something about me. And then, uh, as you know that this session is about the mobile testing then it's a very obvious question that why nowadays a lot of companies and a lot of people they are interested in mobile testing why why suddenly all of a sudden it's uh, becoming very important so the answer for this question is the mobile first approach because now a lot of companies a lot of customers and a lot of markets they are going towards the mobile and in every company there's an approach which is known as mobile first approach so mobile development is need of current hour as per the global statistics as you can see 50 percent of the market share is captured by mobile and trend is increasing day by day so when i'm talking about 50 percent of the market share is captured by mobile it seems if i compare with the desktop and the mobile so 50.33 this is the latest statistics which is from september 2020 50.33 percent the internet traffic is coming from the mobile and 47.04 traffic is coming from desktop so you can see here you know the the mobile traffic which is coming it's it's becoming a very important and you know it's it's very large and it's slowly and gradually exceeding the traffic which is coming from desktop so that's why if you can see that if, if the 50% share is coming from the market, 50% uh, of the market share is coming from mobile, so it's very evident that it's very important to test the apps on the mobile. Because if something is not working there, something is problematic, then obviously it's going to impact the overall customer experience and it can, it can give us a lot of problems. So that's why mobile testing is in place. Coming to the... Uh, division of this uh, if we can see from this mobile traffic so we can see that 38.51 percent of the traffic is coming from android from windows it is about 36 percent so this windows is you know the windows platform as such so i'm comparing the desktop and the laptops which are using windows and ios is 14.12 
Mac is 8.25 and 1.04 is from unknown resources and 0.83 from Linux resources. So from this statistics, I think it's pretty much clear that mobile is, you know, the demand of mobile traffic or you can see that the usage of mobile traffic is increasing day by day and out of this mobile traffic we are getting a lot of traffic from Android. And what is the mobile first approach if somebody asks you so mobile first approach for the companies is a kind of approach that if they want to build a website if they have a vision that they want to make a website so while designing the website or while doing the prototype of the website they will keep the mobile considerations also in mind so they will keep this thing in a mind that if this website is being uh, you know seen on mobile everything would be functional and everything is working fine and that's the mobile first approach so now in a lot of companies whatever you know uh, it's, it's an e-commerce company or even in the financial institutions even in uh, some other companies starting from the prototyping of the design they are keeping the mobile things in their mind and for e-commerce companies it's very very important because e-commerce things people are purchasing the things you know from the mobile and that's why this mobile the origin of this word mobile first started so if anyone asks you what is mobile first approach then it should be pretty much clear like at the time of prototyping we should have mobile layouts in our mind mobile uh, you know considerations in our mind and that is the mobile first approach and what's the reason for the mobile first approach the reason for mobile first approach is very simple that the market which mobiles are capturing is increasing day by day and even in these mobile markets you know you can see the android and windows you know they are anyhow the, the data is very much comparable so this is about this Now coming to the mobile automation advantages. What is mobile automation and what are the advantages? So advantages are pretty much clear because with the help of mobile automation, we can increase the test coverage. We can uh, improve the cost. Uh, sorry, we can reduce the cost. We can, uh, you know, save the time. We can improve the accuracy. We can support the CI and CD uh, concepts with the help of this mobile. And also we can handle the device diversity so these are the various uh, you know the advantages of the mobile automation and because of this reason mobile automation is right now is very popular and we are we have to do the mobile automation in a lot of companies so even these are e-commerce companies or any other companies they are emphasizing on the mobile automation now coming to the tool APM why APM is important? What are the advantages which are associated by APM? So APM is a tool, uh, probably if you have worked with Selenium, you must be known about the JSON wire protocol. So APM is a tool which is being running on the JSON wire protocol. And it's using the same protocol, this JSON wire protocol for automating the things. So it's very easy. If somebody has worked with Selenium, then probably it's bit easier for him or her to work on APM and APM is just implementation of JSON wire protocol for the native and hybrid applications. The main advantage of this tool is it allows us to write us code in many languages. So whether it's Java, whether it's Ruby, whether it's, uh, you know, some other languages like .NET. So it allows a C sharp, for example, it allows us to write us the code in those languages. Then another advantage is associated with APM is we can run the test on the real devices and emulators. This is open source network, so we don't have to pay any license fee for that. And the community of this APM is growing day by day, which is also making it very important. So the community of this tool, you know, because it's open source tool and a lot of companies are using this tool. So uh, in that way, you know, this tool is also becoming very important uh, from community point of view. So that is the uh, advantage associated with APM and that's why we are a lot of companies are using APM for mobile automation. So even the apps are hybrid app or they are native app. So we will cover this topic hybrid and native app in, in our 
next sessions that what they are or they are either they are Android or iOS so most of the companies are using APM for their automation so now I will navigate you uh, to the curriculum like what kind of curriculum we are going to cover in this uh, in this whole uh, syllabus so the very first thing uh, which we are going to cover here is mobile testing overview so here we will talk about what is mobile testing what are the mobile platforms what are the various approaches for the mobile testing what mobile testing life cycle is what mobile development life cycle is what are the different types of mobile apps their characteristics and limitations so this this all these things we are going to cover then we will going to cover the setup of APM so uh, in this basically APM setup we will set up our uh, APM with Java ID so basically we are setting the Java we are setting up node.js we are setting up NPM then Android SDK platforms tools then we are doing the APM installation with NPM we are doing the APM installation with desktop client then we are preparing our simulators uh, for the automation of APM right and then we will also see how APM is working so what's its architecture because this architecture is very frequently asked questions when you are going for the interviews we will see how APM works behind the scenes so you know we all know like APM works but how it's working what what's the exact mechanism which is work uh, which is it is used to work behind the scenes so we will see all those things we will also see some impor important adb commands then we will talk about some synchronization with apm you know some com how to install application or how to uninstall application how to close the application how to see the push and pull operations what are the wait mechanisms how to put the application in the background so all these things we will see then we will see about the locator strategies that how to locate the element using uh, ui automata how to locate the element using apm what are the location strategies what which are being uh, provided by APM what is APM inspector all these things how to build the customized paths all those things we are going to see with APM then uh, we also see some basic operations so basic operations means how to write the text how to click the buttons you know some usual operations which we are doing in the apps handling of alerts and some other things so we, we are we are going to do all those things with APM and then uh, we have to see some touch actions uh, these touch actions uh, are you know scrolling long press swiping all other things so we will we will see all those things how we can do with APM we will also see uh, spinners uh, we will also see key events uh, app interactions and all other things then we will talk about the web views that how web views can be uh, you know used with APM so we will see all those things with with, with the APM so these are we will also see these kind of things other than that uh, I have not uh, put all the uh, you know the complete curriculum here so there are some other parts of the curriculum in which we will see that how to create the frameworks so how to create the frameworks with cucumber and APM then we will see some CI CD concepts you know some CID CD concepts with APM that uh, how uh, if we have the APM test how we can integrate with our CI and CD so all these things we will also see other than that we will also see uh, the parallel execution of the test and at the end with uh, how we can integrate our test with uh, uh, cloud services so if we have some cloud services like sauce labs or we have other some cloud services so how we can do this so we will also see a bit of these things under this curriculum so this, this is the basic broad outline of the curriculum so what are the course prerequisites there is no prerequisite as such but it's good if you are having some prior knowledge of Java so basic knowledge of Java is very important and then it's also good if you have some basic knowledge of uh, software testing and the basic knowledge of Git. so these are some of the prerequisites for this course so when I'm talking about basic knowledge of Java so you know you should be aware of about the functions classes and all those things even if there are some topics in which you are not so good so we while writing our scripts we can or I can explain this topic so that's not a problem when I'm talking about the basic knowledge of software testing it means you should be aware about writing some of the test cases 
So if I am giving you a sample app and I ask you to write some of the test cases or to identify some test cases, so you should be aware about how to write, how to write those test cases. So th that's why this software, basic knowledge of software testing is required. And when I'm talking about basic knowledge of Git, it means, you know, we have to, sometimes it may be a chance, you, I, ha I have some code on Git and I will ask you to clone my repository, so something you should be aware of. And also, you know, once we are working with the Jenkins related thing, so at least you should have a very basic idea that why Git is used and what are one or two basic commands, you know, how to clone the project or something like that, you should be aware of. So that's the basic advantage, uh, you know, that, 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 that are the basic prerequisites for this course. So let's look about some JDs, you know, job description. So I, I am assuming like after doing this course, you must be doing it, you know, to getting some job or if you are in existing job and you want to switch it to some other job. So probably that's the reason you are doing this course. So let's see some job description. So here I put some job descriptions, which I got from knockery.com, right? So everybody is asking uh, automation with APM, right? And they are also saying that you have experience with APM based automation framework. So sometimes it's also being asked that you are acquainted with to create the frameworks. So in this course, we will see how we can create the frameworks with the APM. So we will also see, we will integrate Maven, we will integrate TestNG, you know, all these things for creating the framework and we will see how we can create that. Then they are also asking proficient in one programming language such as Java. So these are some sample, you know, APM job uh, desirables where you will ask some Java proficiency or, you know, you know, work experience with APM and, you know, creation of the frameworks from the scratch, something like that. In the same way, you know, you can see Cucumber, Selenium, APM, you know, you can see all these things requirements, then ability to customize or enhance the frameworks and building the delivery pipeline. So when I am talking about building the delivery pipelines, we will also see that how we can integrate it with the help of uh, CI, CD, uh, how we can integrate our CI uh, in, in CI CD over APM test. So we also learn this, uh, you know, this thing in our, in this current curriculum. And right now there are plenty of jobs. So yesterday only I was searching in Nokri.com and I got 2073 APM jobs. So I, I think the market is quite strong for APM and especially for the mobile testing. And in the near future, I think it will surpass the web-based testing. So there, lot of companies are going with you know this mobile first approach and it's no surprise that uh, mobile testing and uh, you know this kind of stuff will will be in a huge demand so course uh, there's one question Revti is asking, are you going to tell about Dockers? Docker will not be covered in this course. So uh, what we are doing is, uh, usually uh, in mobile scenarios, you don't need Docker as such. What we need is when we are integrating it with uh, Jenkins, then we need a cloud-based service provider like Sauce Labs, Perfecto Mobile, something like that. So they are providing the whole infrastructure to us. So you don't need Docker as such. So that's why we are not going to cover Docker. Docker are very important when you are learning the web-based things, but most of the times in mobile testing, you are integrating it with Jenkins and uh, you need, when you are integrating it with Jenkins, you know, there can be two options. The one option can be, you can create your own lab, you can uh, attach the devices to the Jenkins server. This can be the one option, which usually the companies are not, not opting. The another option is going for the cloud-based service providers. And these cloud-based service providers will be, uh, you know, Sauce Labs or something like that. So we are going to cover that. I will show you how we can connect the, you know, your APM test with Sauce Labs. Okay, what the next question is from Abhilash Bhim. What are the frameworks covered? So we are making the framework uh, with TestNG with Maven, with Cucumber. So these will be the basic and APM obviously. So these will be the big, uh, basic ingredients of our framework. So these are the basic, uh, you know, the things by which we are building this framework. Another question is, what are the advantages, advantages of using uh, APM over browser stack? So browser stack is completely different, you know. You can't compare the two things because browser stack is something 
which is used for basically for different kind of browsers. So if I have a website and I want to test it on different versions of browsers, on different browsers, I'm using browser stack. The same option like browser stack for mobile testing is available with Source Labs. So Source Lab is one of the uh, provider. Another provider can be, you know, uh, there are uh, Jenny Motion, Perfecto Mobiles, and a lot of other cloud providers. So these things are not, you know, not exactly comparable with each other. Right? Because browser stack in browser stack you are having a lot of browsers, and you can use those browsers for testing your websites basically. And you have different versions like older versions and the newer versions. Perfect. I can I will also take the questions at the end. So let's first complete it a bit, and then we can take the questions. Okay, so course details, I am talking about the course detail here. So the duration of this course is 30 to 40 hours, approximately 30 to 40 hours, uh, you know, I, I, I can imagine. Schedule of the classes are customized. So right now I am not sure how many participants uh, will be interested for doing the classes, but once we will finalize the participants for the classes, we can customize the classes based on their needs. So they can be on the weekends, they can be on the weekday, weekday in probably in the evening timing. So we can always discuss about that and we are, I am a bit flexible about that. So if you want just do on the weekend classes, then we can also do that. If you want to do it on the weekdays in the evening, I am also flexible with that. Then uh, in this course, I am giving live examples and a lot of demos with different apps. So there's not a single app. So we, we will use and we will see, I think, multiple apps for different kind of things for for the sake of giving examples and at the end you will also got you will also get a certification from Shar training solution uh, for completion of this course so these are the uh, basic course details what is your take and that's very important because I think you all guys uh, are here to learn something and that's a very obvious question if you are attending this course what what are you getting at the end so at the end, I can assure you like you, you are able successfully able to make the automation scripts with IBM. If you are doing this course, if you are doing it carefully, there is uh, no magic. You can easily automate the scripts with IBM. And when I'm saying this, you are able to uh, create or make the automation scripts. It means you are able to make the complete setup, which is required for running the IBM test and you can run the automation scripts for that. After completion of this course you can also apply for the jobs which are requiring APM knowledge as a prerequisite so that can also be doable if you are if you have something in a mind a job change or something you know uh, which you want to do so you can also do this after completion of this course you can easily apply for these jobs you can you are able to set up the infrastructure for APM automation it means you know the CI CD related things if you if somebody will say you that you they have a Jenkins and you have to create a job for the APM tests right so you are able to perform this function as well once you are complete this once you are done with this course once you have completed this course then you will be acquainted with all the technical terminologies of related with mobile automation so we are talking uh, in depth about a lot of things here you know in, I'm talking you know when I'm saying about a lot of things it means uh, uh, theoretical things should also be co are we are going to cover in this course so when I'm talking about the theoretical things it means you know what kind of apps you know hybrid apps native apps what is mobile development life cycle what is uh, mobile test development life cycle and what is the architecture of Android, all, all those things, all those kind of interview questions which can be probably asked while you are applying for the job, we will try to cover all these things. You are aware about the CICD com, uh, concepts and their implementations. So after end of this course, uh, you should be aware about the CICD concepts and their implementation. So that's also uh, a kind of uh, uh, your take after completion of this course. What are the added advantages? So added advantages are preparation. You can prepare from interview point of view after completion of this course. As I already said, if you want to apply for the jobs or do something, then you can do this. Added advantages, uh, you know, we are explaining the concepts with different kind of demo apps. So that's an added advantage. 
then uh, BDD framework we are going to work with Cucumber so Cucumber is also in high demand so I will tell you how you can integrate your test with Cucumber we are working with CICD concept and infrastructure setup is as per the latest version of 2020 because there are a lot of courses uh, which are available on YouTube or some other platforms but if their courses are obsolete like if they are made in long back like in 2017 and 2018 so a lot of things are getting changed within these two years because this is an open source tool a uh, lot of things lot of code base and a lot of uh, new libraries are getting added so sometimes you know it's problematic to match up with with uh, you know, to match the latest version with the oldest version you know when you are learning with the old versions then it's a bit difficult to catch up the latest version but here i will uh, you can you can make the infrastructure as per the all because we are using the latest version of all the things whether it's node.js or sdk or whatever so we can create the infrastructure uh, as per the latest versions of all the softwares so now uh, we can take question and answers and i can stop the recording